And he brought up a very interesting point that I'm not aware of. Hey, Jonathan Fimanoji here. This is Aries Spears. I'm kind of watching a, a documentary or kind of a, 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 what do you want to call this, a podcast with Vlad TV. Really like this Aries Spears guy. He's just one of those, he's just a comics comic. Um, and, you know, one thing that's happening in comedy is there's kind of the, um, I, I noticed when I was in L.A. and I did a couple uh, uh, open mics there that there, it, it, there are performer comics there are just people who are really good at the performance of comedy, and then there are comic comics, and these are true, true gems, and Aries Spears is one of those. And just listen to what he's talking about. Uh, in this specific example, he's talking about racism. And, um, you know, and, and, and I think a lot of times we could be so dismissive to the plights of other people. Well, let me just let you, let you uh, listen to him say it, because he's, he's so brilliant. And he makes a point about the complete absence of a, uh, um, he, he makes a point here later in this uh, VladTV.com thing about the complete absence that there is no studio, there's no major studio run by a black person or, uh, or a minority. Um, and if you think about that, you know, there should be at least one studio that's run by, well, let me let you listen to him say it because this is, this is, really try to this is the heart of a gesture. And if you have an ounce of humanity in your soul and in your heart, you'll get it. I really believe you'll get it. Did you see the uh, 2016 uh, Oscar picture? Yeah, yeah. And it had uh, it had uh, the weekend was the only black person right in the photo. Right. Chris Rock, I guess, didn't show up to the photo. Right. And there may have been a few other black people right. that were nominated that just decided not to show up. Right. Uh, what, what's your take on the whole Oscar so white thing? Business as usual. Listen yeah. to this. Yeah. You know, again, th that's why I'm saying it's too many examples and too many of us screaming for us to be making this up. Black Lives Matter, I mean, Black Lives Matter, uh, the Cam Newton controversy, Oscar so white. It, you know, it, it's, there's always something. There's got to be some validity to this. There's got to be. Mm -hmm. You know? Well, I, I uh, interviewed Russell Simmons recently, and he brought up a very interesting point that I'm not aware of because I'm, I'm not really in the movie industry. I'm really more on right. the mu music side of things. Uh, but what he pointed out, which I never knew, was that the problem is that there's nobody black pushing buttons nowhere. Russell Simmons, baby. Nowhere in charge of nothing. Forget the Oscars. Uh, that's interesting because, I mean, well, the, the, pres the, president, about it. the president of the Academy is an African-American woman. Yeah, yeah, the president of the Academy, the producer of the show, right, Chris but not, Rock, but not the actual, actual the studio okay. heads. It's a lot. The conversation is who's pressing the button. Nobody black, period. No president, no studio is black. No president, no TV show company is black. No vice president, nobody of any significance at all so even in the agency business. Even at Netflix. In black. Nobody. Wow. That's pretty interesting. The black agent, Charles King, was the biggest black agent. He was the black agent. And he was the black agent, I mean, without dissident, he knew that they'd reach around him when it came to his big black clients. And he was agents of record, but the boss made the deal you know, with his big black clients. Nobody. Black. In charge of nothing. At no agency. Do you think that's Russell accident? Simmons, baby? That there's not a single one. Do you think that's an accident? This no. this showbiz thing is a fraternity, man. And and I, you know, when I first got into it, like anybody, when you first get into anything that you don't know about, there's a certain level of na naivete. And I, I I was, I thought, man, I thought you just go to Hollywood and you throw your thing down and voila, the rest is history. Okay. Man, this shit is a fraternity, man. It's like high school. Everybody don't get to sit at the cool kids' table. Right. Sometimes the goth kids got to sit with the goth kids. <laughs> the nerds sit with the nerds. Right. The jocks with hey, the jocks. Hey, nerds are preps awesome. The preps. It, it's when they use that term, A-list, so-and-so is not A-list. What a, what a way to, to, to categorize who you are. Mm. You, you not, you're not, you B-list. You, you, you go sit with them. You're not worthy. That's some high school shit. Pretty That's much. some immature high school shit. But it is what it is. 
You know what I mean? Yeah, no, I mean, th that's interesting. I mean, yeah, t to say that you're A-list... You know, like, let me just kind of put a little Fibonacci on this. You know, go listen to his comedy. Go listen to some Aries Spears comedy and just compare it to an a, a current A-lister's, quote, current A-lister's comedy bit and just tell me which one do you like. Which one is making you genuinely laugh versus the people that you see on corporate, uh, corporate television shows? I mean, just um, you know, just just do your own little Fibonacci test. Listen, go watch some of his comedy, and then go uh, go watch Fallon and tell me which one do you enjoy most? A list, baby. I'll close out here. What does A list have to do with your talent? You tell me. You can be Harry Spears. You can be who the fuck is named Spears? The talented motherfucker in the room. Holla. Everybody doesn't get the opportunity. That's like opportunity, you know, baby. Baseball. Some of the most talented guys to ever play were in the Negro Leagues. Holla. They weren't in uh, major leagues. Right. So that would, that would be them being considered, oh, you're in the D list. You're in the C list. They can't say they didn't have, their talent wasn't just as good as some of the guys in the major leagues. They just weren't given the opportunity. Because there's, there's such a... It's such a smug, nose in the air, who are you attitude about this shit. I mean, do you think, though, in today's day and age with social media and YouTube that you don't really need the opportunities from the gatekeepers anymore? You could do your own thing. I mean, you have, you know, for example, like right now, Vlad TV go. has over a million. Vlad TV has over a million subscribers. Aries Spears. And, you know, there you go. Look at that. Consider that. You know, next time you, uh, you know, well, I got a question. This is for, th let me just uh, speak to Aries Spears. Maybe he'll give me a retweet, holla. All right. Aries, later in this, uh, in this documentary, you mentioned that, there, that even when the black people get together, that they don't form their own studio. And you like, you, you use the example of if Oprah and Denzel and some of these people really were to get together, they could start an African-American uh, agency or a studio. Why? And you ask the question rightfully. Why don't they? So let me let me holler on you, Aries. Why don't they? Why don't they? I mean, I would love for. Wouldn't it be great to record a uh, a documentary or an interview, Aries Spears, where you're asking Oprah, Denzel, uh, and, and other quote A-listers. Anyway, let me know. Holla. You guys be good. Seriously, guys, this guy's fucking brilliant. Fucking brilliant. If you want uh, some good comedy, it's right here. Bhala. Thank you, Vlad TV, for your Subscribe. interview. I put out whatever I feel like putting out. There's no one that could green light right. me. You know, no one told me. To oh, and by the way, the, the Vlad guy, he puts out. So idea. just letting you know, he puts out. Anyway, email me any of your questions, Americana417 at gmail.com. Thank you for your comments. I got a few today. This uh, channel's growing a little bit. Got 92 viewers, baby. Holla. This guy's telling me, he's like, you are so full of shit. And this girl's like, boom. And then I'm like, okay, cool. Well, you guys be good. Enjoy your day.